Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are looking at the Static Lootables plugin for Rust. This will allow you to add loot to a lot of static items that normally don't do anything. In this tutorial, we will look at it from the point of view of a prefab or custom map maker. Static Lootables adds another way players can interact with our prefabs or custom maps. We will also quickly look at the extension. This is sold separately. And this allows you to create a box, even more flexibility, but a little bit more configuration is needed. Since this is a paid plugin, I quickly want to say that this is not a paid promotion. I just get the question about adding loot to specific places often enough that I thought it could require a tutorial. We can also give containers HP, so people have to break it before they can get the loot in sight. Or we can even do something like the hackable crate we have in game, but it works slightly different. Point is, it's a lot powerful and configurable than you might initially think. You can see over here, there are a few dependencies. So if we look at my server in the Oxide plugins folder, you can see we have all those plugins right here, including static lootables and the extension itself. And we also have the permissions manager. All the links will be in the description. Before we dive into Rust, I quickly wanna dive into Rust edit. Let's say you wanted to add some loot outside of this building. Yes, you can use the objects that are already there, especially if you have the extension. But I would highly recommend always adding something visual so people can see or even expect that there might be loot there. So instead of just adding loot to this wall, I added a box or you could add something to a wall or even if you want to go more sneaky, add some sort of change in texture. Um, if you're making some sort of puzzle where someone has to get something or find an item, you can hide them in really sneaky ways, but still make it some sort of obvious that there could be something there. So let's, for example, add some loot to this blue crate. When we walk up to this, we can see that this is available. So let's press R to first of all, set up a interaction. Under interaction, let's click on edit and then let's add a interaction. If we want to, we can also add our own icon. I'm going to leave it default for now. Uh, for now, it will use the locker. Let's click on save. If we go back, I'm just mainly going to focus on the interaction. So let's close this and then let's press E to create a lootable. We automatically have our prefab selected and our interaction is loot blue container. That's the only one that we currently have. So that's fine. How big we want our panel to be and also how large the container is. So how many slots there are in there. We have three slots. I think default it is two. Let's go to contents and let's add some items. When adding a item, make sure you don't have any categories selected. We can just search, for example, for bear and let's add some bear skin and some burnt bear meat. We can go more in depth. When we click on the items, we can change the spawn chance. So let's leave this on 40 for this one, but let's change the maximum to two. And let's change the spawn chance to 100%. Oh, there should always be two burnt meat and there is a 40% chance that there is a bear skin inside as well. Both times the blueprint chance is set to zero, but that is also something you can set. Let's go back. And since we have two of the burnt meat, let's set allow stack to enabled. If you want to go really in depth, there are even some rules that you can set only if inside of a specific zone. So you can really filter out when someone should be able to open up these containers. We can also add a lock and this will give it health. So people have to break it first. Let's actually do that. Let's give it health of 250. You will not visually see the item break, but you will see a HP bar as you will see in a little bit. And on top of that, we can even add a hack mechanic. This will give us an initial hacking time, which is 10 seconds. And then we are able to open up that crate for 300 seconds, which is five minutes. Let's do all the above. So let's click on save and let's then go out of edit mode. So let's do static lootables edit. Now, if we walk up to this container, we can see that it's locked and it doesn't do the same for other containers. So let's try to break this and we'll need better equipment. And now, as you see, when it's broken, I can now hack it. So as you can see, if I press E, the timer goes down. If I look away or do something else, it will stop. So I need to wait here for 10 seconds. As you saw, this is configurable. As you can see, I got a note now and it says 7288 and it says press reload to open the code input panel. So we press R 7288 and let's press OK. And now we can see that we broke it. We hacked it. And now we can take the loot and we were lucky because we also got a barrack. If we then interact with it again by pressing R and doing our code, we can see that it's empty, but we are still able to get in there. So let's say instead of doing the full desk, I want to create two different file cabinets. 
as you can see here this is all just desk a i am not able to do the individual file cabinets we could use the extension for this let's look at something and press r if we have the extension installed we get create a prefab let's call this desk l and click on start then let's go top left top right bottom left did that work bottom left <laughs> bottom right then we created a new prefab now we can just press e on this like we've done before and here we can add content so let's add something random add a strobe light let's click on save for now and let's create a new interaction open left cabinet i think that's how you call it is that also how you spell it nobody knows turns out google google knows this is this is actually how you spell it open left file cabinet um let's keep this the same for now let's click on save and let's just already create the right one. Open right cabinet. Let's do save. So we now have interactions telling us what we will be opening. So we got the prefab desk left. Let's open that up. And we got our strobe light. Let's change the interaction because we now created one specifically for the left cabinet. And let's also add a look to the left one, which is only 50 HP. Click on save. So now let's do the right one. Let's trigger the menu again, call it desk right, and let's click on start. Let's do one, two, it's not fully correct, but let's go for it for now. This is totally wrong, but looking at this, it's still in the correct spot. Could even be a little bit smaller, but we'll go for it for now. Make sure we have the correct one. Press E, desk right, open right cabinet, and this one we actually want to hack. And let's also add our items. So let's do a kayak in this one. Let's change the spawn rate of this one to a hundred percent let's go back and then just save now if we go outside of the edit mode static lootables edit or sl edit we can see here locked so we have to break this it's only 50 hp open left cabinet here we have our strobe light here on the right it says hack we click e to hack it just like before when it's done hacking we get our code again one four one two we press R on it, one, four, one, two, press OK. And here we get our kayak. Even if you don't want to do a full prefab and want to do individual parts, you can do this quite easy. Hopefully this inspires your creativity and makes you want to go crazy with this plugin. Once again, if you build something around this plugin, please be respectful to the creators and don't bundle this with your download and just link to the original page where you can buy it from. Hopefully this was helpful. And good luck building your custom maps and custom prefabs. If you're not done watching yet, you can click here on the right for our latest release or on the left for something that we think suits you best. If you think I want even more, of course, feel free to subscribe. This way you will be notified when we release new content every Friday. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.